As you guys already know that the very first Android one smartphone to ever hit the Indian market was the Xiaomi Mi A1. But soon after its release, Xiaomi stopped pushing out updates for the same. But I've got my phone running with the latest and greatest offering from Android, that is Android 11, all thanks to the XDA developers. So this is my review of using Android 11 with the Mi A1 featuring Evolution X. Hey what's up guys, it's Bhushan, with that being said, let's get started. Firstly, let's get the installation out of the way. Installing this ROM is as simple as, well, you guessed it, installing any other custom ROM. All you have to do is just flash the zip and you're good to go. Not to mention that Google Apps comes pre-installed with this build as well. Now when it comes to ROM performance, I can say that Evolution X has not disappointed me in any which ways. Every day-to-day -day tasks like scrolling through apps, browsing the web, watching videos, listening to music, and every other day-to-day -day tasks will work like a charm without any issues or hiccups. Even the battery performance is good enough. I usually got anywhere between 4-5 to five hours of screen on time, which is not bad at all. Now there is some minor stutter by losing the OS here and there, but nothing to write home about. Also keep in mind that this is a mid-range smartphone with a Snapdragon 625 on board, so it's better not to expect much from this chip. So as you guys already might be knowing that Android 11 or Android in general is known for its simple and minimal approach towards customization, but Evolution X takes it not one but two steps further. You can literally customize each and every aspect of the OS in any which way you like. Just go into the settings and click on the option known as the Evolver. Here you will be greeted with all the things you can tweak in this ROM, be it changing the theme of your phone, configuring the gestures, changing the navigation keys from hardware to software, changing the animation, customizing the status bar and much much more. Heck, I can even make a dedicated video on just the customizations of this ROM. That's how good it is. Now, when it comes to the cameras of the Mi A1, they are pretty good as you'd expect. But the catch is, in order to make them work good, you will have to install, well, you guessed it, Gcam. As Evolution X comes with a really shitty stock camera, Gcam is the only way out. But once you install Gcam with its config, the Mi A1 really shows what it's capable of. Although the Google camera I'm using right now lags at times and is really slow in processing HDR photos, but I guess it's worth it at the end. I will link down the Gcam and the XML file in the description down below for you to have a look at. So all in all I can say that Evolution X on the Mi A1 is a really optimized OS. Although if you are a fan of raw stock and minimal Android, I would not recommend you to go with this ROM. You should rather go with Pixel Experience. The only flaws or shall I say minor issues I found in this ROM is the minor stutter and lag while doing heavy tasks. Although it's not that big of an issue because it gets fixed easily. And again, as I said, this is a mid-range smartphone with the old system on chip, so you cannot expect much anyway. If you would like to download this ROM, check the link given in the description down below. Also, do let me know which type of videos would you like to see in the near future, because I'm trying to be a bit more consistent with my uploads. With that being said, I'm Bhushan and I'm signing out.